Hey everyone, we are once again back with Dark Souls Remastered. I've actually been quite a while since I've touched a Dark Souls Remaster. I've been like doing other things. Plus, some of my other playthroughs have taken a shitload of time. Um, but yeah, we are back with the boy, the main boy, Dark Souls Remastered. Original Dark Souls. As you can probably guess by the title, what this series is going to be. It's going to be a redux slash remake of my old Ultimate Hunter guide. If you remember way back when uh, Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition came out, I did a bunch of Ultimate guides, which were pretty successful. The last one I decided to do, and this was when the boy was running out of ideas, is... Holy shit, our legs are like... <laughs> fucking toothpicks. Um... The last one I decided to do was a hunter guide, and I don't know what happened, but I, I kind of fucked that series up. Uh, people were unhappy with that series, uh, and looking back at it, I was unhappy with it as well. I rewatched a couple of episodes, and that shit is cringe as hell. Like, I, I wasn't using my bow and arrow, and that was the main complaint people had that I was barely using actual archery. So, what I decided to do is here I am, a couple of years later, Dark Souls Remastered, I don't really have a specific series to tackle after Sekiro. Let's remake that Hunter's Guide, and let's make it a little bit less fucked up. So, that's why this is considered a redux, however, the idea itself is the same as it always been. I will play through the game, and I'm going to pick up every ring bow, arrow type, whatever that relates to playing a hunter. Obviously the amount of items we are tackling is a bit less than uh, in any of the spell playthroughs, but there's still a couple. I mean, I will be getting all the bow types as well, so great bows, crossbows, all the arrow types, we will at least try them out. I mean, some of them are absolute shit, but we'll try them out nonetheless. Obviously, the one we're going to be focusing on will be the standard bow and arrow, because that is the most powerful, uh, that is the most usable uh, in normal game play, and holy fuck do I have to turn up my brightness. The question is, is that not gonna make it too bright on the capture card? We will see, we'll see. One thing I will say is that, uh, fuck, don't bow, or don't point your sword up. One thing I will say is, just like my other recent playthroughs, uh, I'm continuing the theme here that basically the boring parts will be edited out. So, I'm gonna explain it a couple more times, but it's just gonna be a standard thing from now. All my playthroughs in the future are going to be sort of this more edited format. Just to let you know, you know, uh, I feel like this format, again, really allows me to cut out the dead space. Obviously, there are times when I have just like a lot to say. There it is. When I have a lot to say and the episode like flows well. But, you know, sometimes there is like a lot of dead space, especially in like backtracking parts. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, well, hello there. So, yeah, that's why editing exists. I was afraid of that. You know what? We're gonna be brave. Well, actually, how brave are we going to be? Because it doesn't take long to get to... What the shit? Huh. To get to a place where you can start picking up arrows, but... It's a while. Eh, whatever. Perry God still in the house. Actually, this is the first time I'm playing this game on PlayStation 5. Not to brag about owning a PlayStation 5, but I'm a little bit bragging about it. I got one, I got one. And listen, you know, this playthrough isn't going to be me going exclusively for archery. 
This is not like an archery or like bow only challenge playthrough. I'm going to be using standard weaponry as well. But again, just to keep with the actual theme, we'll be using our main weapon. I do wonder. Eh, no headshot bonus. Such a shame. I need to like get my shit together and figure out how to aim too. I don't normally go for bow and arrow uh, weapons. Like bow, bow and arrows. Uh, one thing I do know is they are affected by counter damage, which is pretty good. Which means they are affected by the Leo ring. And by the way, just like I always do or I used to do on these playthroughs, I will leave um, like in the description a list of all the items I will be picking up. As well as, you know, timestamps when I actually pick them up in an episode. So, you know, if you want to see something, you will be able to just navigate there. We're keeping the theme, we're keeping it old school, you know. We may be on Dark Souls Remastered. We may have a face cam, but... The theme itself stays as is. Hey Perez, quick question for you. Do you think people should subscribe to Mr. Sketchhead's YouTube channel? And do you think they should like, comment and subscribe on the video? Finally, let's talk about post notifications. Do you think they should be turned on? I thought so, buddy. Them PS5 load times are pretty sick though, I gotta admit. Anyways. Let's hit up that bonfire and we're definitely going to need endurance. Uh, let's just check. Wow, this... I forgot that your vitals are this shitty. Uh, level 4, so that's only like one level above the... No, Pyromancer starts at level 1 actually. Never mind. Man, these stats are shitty. I do know what to go for uh, stat-wise. I do have a build planned out, so there's that. Essentially, like, I'm not sure I will go up to the strength requirement for the great bows. 27 and 40 is what people recommend for strength and dex, uh, because that allows you to use all the great bows, like all the bows in general. But we also have the Gwendolyn one, which needs faith, if I remember correctly. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's pop a humanity. Go cool, much better now that we're in human form. Actually, this does bring up the question, am I online? I am online, shit. No, 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 I'm, I was on start offline. Okay, shit, Never mind. I don't wanna be online. This ain't a PvP build. Not in the slightest, obviously. Uh, for normal enemies. You do have headshots. What the shit are you doing? Get backstab, bitch. But that's always an advantage. Oh yeah. I need to break the habit of the... Latest Demon Souls playthrough. I can actually kick here. You can zoom in too, can't you? Can't you? No, you can't. Now, obviously, again, 30 arrows is not... Not exactly... You know, infinite ammo. So, we will need to be careful here. But again, this is not a bow-only type deal here. And you know what? Let's not miss any treasure either. Uh, okay, cool. Just just checking where the jump button is. You always gotta you always gotta check uh, just to be sure, just to be sure which game you're playing. Let's just get the ring of sacrifice because this is something I never end up using, but I always pick up. It's actually a lie. I've used this thing before, but. 
very rarely. Yeah, just souls. I mean, uh, even these souls are going to be useful because just allow me to get more ammo and we're gonna be sticking to them wooden arrows for now that's for sure oh, that parry would have been sick I couldn't get it I like parried both of them by the way uh, as always I will be taking weapon suggestions aside from you know use your bow bitch we do need a main weapon uh, just to have something up our sleeves, you know, so if you have any suggestions, I welcome them. Obviously, it's gonna be something in the lighter decks category, so don't, don't like, suggest, I don't know, fucking Smo's Great Hammer or something, because that ain't gonna fly. You can't dodge that? Damn. Fuck. Went through his crotch. Oh yeah, you're shooting at me? Well, about that. I can shoot back. And miss. I said I can shoot back. And not miss. God damn, his fucking shoulder is like... Getting in the way. What a fascinating battle that was, right? Truly amazing. Ooh. I do like parrying in this game, let me tell you that. And I gotta mention it, like, this is one of the most like, human-looking Dark Souls character I've ever managed to create. I don't know how I pulled it off, uh, because you can truly fuck your character's shit up in this game. Uh, but it just happened, you know. I guess the Dark Souls gods were smiling down on me, or something. And before you ask, no, I still haven't played Skyrim. I know that's a Skyrim line. Nope, haven't got around to it. I don't even own it. Watch this. Snipe this little bitch with my last two arrows. Headshot. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that a giant ass arrow sticking out of him. Cool. We are out. And this animation is truly the greatest. She's like, huh, what? Like, you know, an exaggerated, I don't know, like, Italian-American. That's that type of gesture. But, this is a problem we're going to fix very, very soon. By coming down here. Okay, here's the boy. And this boy... He sells them arrows. Sells the resonance key as well, which we will hold off on. Uh, so 10 for standard arrows. That's actually not that expensive. We can get 150 already. Large arrows. So large arrows deal more damage, but of shorter range. So what I'm going to do is let's pick up. I don't know, let's pick up like 80 of these, only 14, cool, and I'm gonna, just for demonstration purposes, get wooden arrows, and we can do a very like scientific experiment here, because as you know, you can have two arrow types equipped. Let's just do a little bit of damage comparison right here. These are the wooden arrows. 46. Standard arrows, 89. 
This is why you use the standard arrows. Obviously, wooden arrows really are just for... Um, like, getting the attention of things. Like, you're not ever meant to... Uh, use that. And 80 for large arrows. Like, you're not ever meant to use wooden arrows for... Like, actual decent combat. So 76 should hold us out for quite a while. Allowing us to, of course, pick up another... So there we have throwing knives. I guess this could count as... Equipment, right? This is... Sort of hunter-ish. Hunter-ish, I'll say. But, you know, let's try them out. And what we also have here is the wonderful light crossbow. Now, of course, the deal with the light crossbow is that the stat, requ stat requirements are a lot less than for the actual um, bow. In fact, I think every class in the game can use the crossbows, uh, the light crossbow at least. The thing that sucks about it, and you probably know all these weaknesses if you watch my old crossbow challenge run. First of all, it deals bonk damage, it has no scaling on it. Second issue... See, 44 versus 55. Second issue with crossbows is that you cannot free aim them in this game. Third issue with crossbows is that they take ages to reload. Uh, like, really, really slow. So, for really the purposes of this playthrough, I'm really only picking up crossbows as demonstration. Like, I, I ain't ever gonna be using crossbows, because they just, they're just bad for uh, this purpose. They're like, in general, bad for any purpose. In this game, I should say. You know, they buffed them quite a bit in the other Souls games, but here... Crossbows are... not it, really. Okay, how about we don't do this? We don't risk a death to fucking hollows. Oh wait, no, 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 this is the dead end, right? Why do I always think there is treasure here? Okay, a soul. Well, a soul is something. Cool, let's just head back to our bonfire, I think. Speaking of, before I forget, uh, this is a pretty cool shield. I'm like pretty sure it will still overburden me. Yeah, yeah, it will. For now, for now. Uh, but I do like the wooden shield. It doesn't have good defenses, but man, does it look sick. Uh, yeah, let's do a rest. I never know if whether, or like, I'm always in undecided on whether it's worth kindling this bonfire. I think for the purposes of this playthrough, I did just get a humanity. I was just about to say, if I get a free humanity, it's getting kindled. Otherwise, ugh, God, I can't even talk. Otherwise, screw it, you know. Cool. Now that I've cleared these guys out like five times. Uh, let's move on. And man, is there a lot of advantage to having a ranged weapon. Crotch shots. This is the main thing. Headshots as well. Get on my level. What the f... Oh, there's a third one? Huh. I just thought there were only two. Not that it's going to be a problem. Oh, that wasn't a headshot. I thought it was, but unfortunately it wasn't. That's okay. That is perfectly... Oh, fuck. Perfectly fine, as I almost get killed. Still, I can't believe they're, they have haptic feedback in this game as well. I think a lot of the games have it for PS5. 
It's pretty cool. Oh shit. I'm about to get killed. Uh, that would be very embarrassing. Like, shouldn't be dying for a long time. This is Dark Souls 1. Should be very familiar with this. I'm not sure if we'll include the... Oh, shit. That does more damage than I thought. I was going to say, I'm not sure if we'll include firebombs in the category of uh, hunter consumables. I feel like if you were a hunter, you wouldn't use a bomb to kill anything. Thanks, Dark Souls Ragdoll. But that's just me, you know. Oh yeah, obviously I picked the master key for starting gifts. You would be stupid not to pick the master key. Stupid that they even have the master key. But you know, this is something that was fixed. They realized that that, that was a bit much, you know. That master key is... Holy shit, he actually knows. He actually knows. Good for him. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. These enemies were a nightmare on crossbow only. Because the crossbow is so goddamn slow, it's barely possible to... It's barely possible to kick them and then still hit them. Oh, wait a second here. Can you? <laughs> oh, it triggers immediately. I was gonna say, I wonder what happens. Can't believe how many things I've like never done. Um, like, you know, I've never shot that guy in the head. Why? I don't know. Please give me something good. Chunk. Less good than what you call it. Large shard, but okay. We're okay with that. Okay. I'm gonna try doing this bow only. Try it should be fairly easy. Uh, let's just see what happens. Crotch shot. Crotch shot. I think my dog is knocking at the door. I think he just woke up. Okay. We're gonna have to hold on for this fight. Perret. Wait. It's actually a perfect time after this to have the Perret's interlude. Which we're gonna do. That's like gonna be a thing from now on. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, just wait a bit more. Ah, yeah, this is fairly easy. Fairly easy. Just shot, shoot this guy in the crotch. A couple of dick shots. A couple of dick shots. And then we'll have ourselves a nice victory. Might as well use the large arrows. Uh, That's not going to be my main thing, the large arrows. I don't find them that useful, actually. But again, for demonstration purposes. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. just how we roll and get the treasure as well cool let's move on okay cool where were we I'm sorry I had to play with the dog a little bit uh, so I took a small break yeah I think we're just you know looping around here let's go and talk to the boy you gotta talk to the boy even if you don't like go for his quest line at least strike up a conversation with him you know Of course, we are going to intertwine our fates. It's a very fancy sentence, but cool. 
White Sign Soapstone. I will try. I don't know if I'll go for any quest lines. I guess why not? We got the Dragon. We have 5k souls, which. Partially will be spent on arrows for sure. But I also gotta keep the levels in mind. That's one of the things about using a projectile heavy playthrough. Early on it is sort of a balancing act if you actually want to use your arrows. But later on it does get way easier. Because you can just... You have so many souls that stacking up on arrows and all that isn't even a problem. That's actually quite a few levels. Uh, shit. Let's get a couple of points in the vitality. One point in the strength. And we're gonna go dex here. Maybe not all dex and endurance. Something like this. I have this sort of plan that, again, I really need to look at the Great Bow of Gwendolyn. Not Great Bow, just Moonlight Bow, that's what it's called. Because that's the thing that requires faith. Anyways, in terms of places, this is a fairly good place for soul farming. As you can see, you can get 500 souls per rotation. So ammo-wise, this is a pretty good spot to stock up. Because you see, like this is a this is a very easy little farming run. You just gotta go up the stairs, hit up the dragon, he'll flame these assholes, you have 500 souls. So, yeah, I think, you know what? Let's not fuck around here too much. I'm gonna do a few rotations of this, like one or two more. And just gonna hit up, uh, what's his name? Undead Merchant here. So I did like a couple of rotations. I have 2200 souls. Which should... Fuck, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend it all on standard arrows. Like before... I have 51, so let's get... Coal 250, that should hold us over. Fucking hell, this is expensive. I, I mean, I guess it was doing more damage, but... Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Hit me up with them arrows. And the other thing I wanted to do is... Let's use up them consumables. Yeah, well, this should allow us to at least get the resident key as well. Uh, not that. What's his name? Residence key magician dude is gonna be much importance here. But, you know, why not? Let's at least unlock him. It's a thousand souls. It doesn't matter either way what happens. Cool. I think as we head back, or as we are back at the bonfire, this is going to wrap up episode one of the Ultimate Hunter's Guide. I can't believe I'm saying that. That It's been such a long time since I've said these words. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the Hunter Guide. As stated previously, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, uh, turn on post notifications, whatever. I'm not going to do the whole long intro. Next time, we'll pick it up from here and we'll continue into the parish. Take care, guys. Peace out.